Hello, welcome to the BCC coding series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Notepad++ on your computer. Uh, the reason why we want to do this is this is the text editor that I recommend we use when we're writing bricklayer programs. It's the one that I use. Okay, let's get started. So first, I'm going to open up a browser. Then I'm going to search for Notepad++. Then I'm going to go to the Notepad++ download link. And then I'm going to scroll around for something that says download. I'm going to do this one. And then I have to wait for the installer to download. And when it's all finished, it stops flashing. And now I'm going to click on this. and answer yes to a bunch of things, yes or OK, or next, I guess. I agree, never read those things. Next, I want to create a shortcut on the desktop and install. And it's just that easy. And so Notepad opens up automatically when you do this. You get to see this. I'm going to close this down. And I'm going to close this, and I'm going to grab the icon, the notepad icon, if I can find it on my desktop. Here it is. There. So now if I double click on this, it'll open up, and I can type what I want in here, a bricklayer program, for example. Open level one. This is how your first bricklayer program that you write is going to start out. And then I would want to for save this somewhere, and I recommend you create a folder somewhere, could be on your desktop, My Bricklayer Programs, something like that. And my first program, my first program. And Bricklayer Programs, this is very important, the extension cannot be a text extension, a TXT extension like this is going to try right here. It has to be a .bl extension. So I'm going to type that in right here, .bl. Let's see what happens. Now what we can do is this folder that I've created, let's take a look at it. I'm going to, got to find it on my desktop. I have two screens, so it's sometimes hard for me to find stuff. Hold on a second. Ah, here it is. Let me close this. Bring this over here. Here is the folder, my bricklayer program. And if I open it up inside the folder, I will see the program that I just created. And what I can do now, I can right click on this and edit with Notepad. And I can keep typing. And when I want to run it, which, which we're not going to go into in this video, but when I want to run it, I would just double click with the left mouse button on the file itself. So I think hopefully that'll get everybody started uh, if you haven't had experience doing this kind of thing before. If you haven't tried Notepad++ before, I think you will really like it. It is very cool, and I will tell you some more stuff about what it can do in upcoming videos. All right, thank you all for tuning in. See you next time.